Hey sports fans, we are back, and today we're going to take a look at the insane workout and diet of one of the most insane athletes in all of sports, New York Giants running back Saquon Barkley. Since entering the league in 2018, Saquon has shown that he has generational ability and one of the highest talent ceilings of any athlete in recent memory. But just how does Saquon train and transform himself into the talent that we see on Sundays? Stay tuned to find out, but first, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our content. All done? Alright, on to our video. Let's get one thing out of the way. Saquon Barkley isn't your average athlete. Most people that are 233 pounds cannot run as fast or jump as high or make those crazy cuts and jukes in a phone booth and be able to run past and through an entire defense the way Saquon does. Well, just know that Saquon has been making things that are supposed to be challenging for most athletes seem mundane, like being able to power clean 405 pounds and squat 525 pounds five times back in Penn State. Not long after Barkley showed off his ridiculous strength for a college running back, we saw how this power and explosiveness translated at the combine into 29 bench presses, a skyscraping 41-inch vertical, and a lightning-quick 20-yard shuttle of 4.24 seconds. By the time the number two pick in the 2018 draft stepped onto the field as a rookie, he was the most hyped running back we've probably seen since Bo Jackson and considered a once-in-a-lifetime talent. Saquon was treated like one of the players you have to see to believe just how great they are, and when it came to Saquon's exercise and training, which we're about to dive into, coaches and trainers alike were left in awe of just how crazy of an athlete Barkley truly is. I've got some breaking news for you guys. Saquon does not skip leg day. If you've seen the dude's legs, you know that Barkley and all of his ridiculous contact balance is supported by two tree trunks for legs. Barkley's legs have gotten so big that his quads have even earned him the nickname Saquad, boasting some of the bigger quads in football. Saquon has embraced the nickname and even issued what he called the Quad Squad Challenge, where groups of four people would submit their squads doing the challenge, and Saquon would invite the winners he chose to come spend a day doing one of his grueling workouts. In case you wanted to try this challenge at home, it included a lunge hold, 10 seconds for each side, squats with no weights and as many as you could do in 10 seconds, 10 seconds of jump squats, and 20 second squat holds. You have to do the entire exercise with no break in between, and if you do end up trying it at home, just remember, we warned you. When it comes to Saquon's own leg workouts, Barkley does an assortment of things. In true Saquon fashion, some of these things are human while some are not. When it comes to his favorite, Barkley was once asked if he could do only one exercise to train, what would he choose? And the former Rookie of the Year said he would choose squats or hex bar deadlifts. He claims that both workouts get you stronger and more explosive, which are the biggest part of his game, and why they are staples of his workout. Saquon could squat a Herculean amount in case you were wondering. The 24-year-old claims he squats between 650 and 700 pounds. He claims he doesn't lift that much to, in his words, be a muscle head, but claims being able to squat that much makes it easier for him to run through a 350-pound defensive tackle. Saquon also says the squats are the key to his quad building strength and what makes his lower body explosive and durable. He also says the 70 and 80 yard touchdowns we see are because of the explosiveness he gains in the gym, which led to the large gains on the field. Saquon likes to take the lift heavy approach and combine it with other challenging workouts to help get the most out of his training. One of Saquon's don't try this at home workouts includes him doing things like a 315 pound deadlift and roll right into a 42 inch box jump. Another Saquon favorite that we do not recommend are the Nordic hamstring curls. Saquon makes them look easy, but most of us mortals have a challenge doing one. As we said, Saquon focuses on explosion when it comes to his lower body because he said that is the most important aspect of his game, but he also says his upper body strength complements his lower body strength and can be just as important when it comes to running the ball. The first rule of getting jacked like Saquon when it comes to his upper body workouts is to know that you don't necessarily need barbells or bench press to get stronger. Instead of a traditional bench press, Barkley uses dumbbells to get his incline, decline, and wide and narrow dumbbell press workouts in as well as several variations of push-ups to get a full chest workout in. The main thing for Barkley is form and variety, so while he lifts heavier than most, he doesn't always opt for the heaviest weights he can lift to make sure he's working each muscle carefully. Saquon is also a big fan of resistance bands and the extra explosion or strength you can get from resistance band training. One of his favorite exercises is the resistance band chin-up. Without the resistance bands, Barkley could do chin-ups all day, but with that added resistance, instead of doing chin-ups to fail and increasing the number he can do, Barkley tries to use added resistance to see how challenging he can make the chin-up. Saquon goes for chin-ups over pull-ups because they shift your shoulders towards their natural rotation and make it less likely to cause shoulder issues or injury. Like the push-ups that Barkley does, body-weighted exercises are a great way to build your strength proportionately to your body size. If you're like Saquon, you're not just doing a resistance chin-up, you're also adding a weighted vest or a weighted belt. 
Saquon's next exercise of choice bottoms up kettlebell shoulder press pulses with banded resistance. If this workout sounds ridiculous or like something you've never heard of because it's probably not a workout move you've seen people doing at the gym that often, or probably ever, the exercises work the shoulders and back while concentrating on areas of those two regions that are challenging to build properly. Saquon is trying to literally get every ounce of strength he could get out of his frame. Another big area for Barkley is working on his balance. He uses BOSU balls and does up to 10 different exercises with them to strengthen his core and all of his muscles he needs to be able to change direction in a moment's notice while keeping all of that dexterity we see him utilize on the gridiron. If Saquon seems like Houdini when he evades would-be tacklers, it's because his balance is as good as just about anyone in the NFL, and it's probably one of his more underrated traits. As we know when it comes to the National Football League, availability and durability are also considered abilities, and lately for the all-world running back, that's been the issue for Barkley. After lighting the world on fire during his rookie season, he spent more time off the field than on it, missing 17 of his last 32 games, which has prompted Barkley to focus on boosting his recovery, which he does in a variety of ways. Barkley is said to have incorporated pliability into his workout regimen to give his muscles and all of his tendons and joints that support them adequate stretching and mobility pre- and post-workout. Saquon also opts for ice baths and cryotherapy and is said to also make sure he's getting enough sleep as missing out on sleep is as important as missing the gym altogether. Saquon feels that the proper rest and recovery will make his body less susceptible to injuries while he gives his 233 pound frame the best chance to heal from the rigors of training and the grueling NFL season. When it comes to Saquon's diet, the fourth year running back eats a hearty serving of protein and vegetables like you would expect from someone who's considered on the larger side for his position. Barkley says to keep on his size, he loads up on steak, potatoes, chicken, and tons of veggies to go with every meal. Saquon is not on a restrictive diet of any kind, and he says he uses the food as fuel to get through his workouts and help him keep his size. He's cut out a lot of junk food from his college days and considers himself a pretty clean eater. Based on how chiseled Saquon is, we are not going to doubt him. All right, sports fans, that does it for our time on Saquon Barkley and his insane workout and diet routine. Let us know what you think by dropping a comment below, and as always, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that button for me so you can keep up with this channel and more content just like this. Until next time, sports fans.